Welcome to Tripedia, your ultimate guide to the world's most incredible travel destinations. Today we're taking you on a journey through Athens, the ancient and vibrant capital of Greece. From its rich history to its buzzing modern city life, Athens has something for every type of traveler. Join us as we explore the top sights and hidden gems of this amazing city. So sit back, relax, and let us take you on a journey to one of the world's most beautiful cities, trip to the Acropolis. The Acropolis of Athens with its temple Parthenon perched on a rocky outcrop and overlooking millennia of civilization is one of the world's most impressive landmarks. The Acropolis, a symbol of ancient Athens' greatness, was the city's original epicenter and a defensive stronghold thanks to its elevated and sheltered position on a hill. The Parthenon, the biggest temple of classical antiquity, was constructed between the years 447 BC and 338 BC and is often regarded as the symbol of Athens. The temple is quite breathtaking, with its rows of massive Doric columns and intricate sculptural decorations. The eastern frieze includes reliefs depicting the goddess Athena's birth. Views of the Acropolis from below are particularly stunning when viewed from the north side of the slope. Apostolou Pavlou is a pedestrian street lined with eateries that offer stunning views of the Acropolis. Rooftop dining is available at some of these establishments, with breathtaking views across to the Acropolis, including the nightly illumination of the Parthenon, the Temple of Athena Nike, and the main entrance to the Acropolis. The Acropolis Museum houses one of the world's most important collections of ancient Greek art and is another of Athens' must-see landmarks. The original museum on the hilltop was demolished in 2007 and replaced by the modern structure. Museum of National Archaeology The National Archaeological Museum of Athens, Greece is one of the best in the world and the largest of its kind in all of Greece. It was established in the 19th century. The sculpture collection showcases some of the finest examples of ancient Greek sculpture from the 6th to 5th centuries BC. Ancient Greek pottery from the 11th century BCE to the Classical Roman period is on display in the Vase and Decorative Objects collection. Little things from all around history can be found in the Stathodos collection. The Metallurgy collection features exquisite miniature statues and miniatures fashioned from metals. Explore the areas of Plaka and Anafiotica. The area nestled between the Acropolis's northern slopes and Ermo Street is a popular destination for sightseers. The picturesque village setting is the main draw of this historic district. Lovely pastel-painted houses, cafes, and stores line the narrow pedestrian lanes and the pleasant tiny squares of the Plaka district. Authentic Greek eateries with pleasant terrace seating may be found in plenty in the Plaka neighborhood and the adjacent Anafiotica, which is tucked into the slopes to the north of the Acropolis. Evening strolls through Anafiotica's medieval alleys are a treat in themselves. Menisaclea Street is home to the well-known Restaurant Staircase. Up on the hillside where it's calmer, you can find some adorable tiny cafes and eateries, on Palapata Street, you may visit two significant archaeological sites from the 1st century BC and the Roman era. The Cycladic Art Museum The museum has about 3,000 pieces in its permanent collection and is housed in a state-of-the-art structure with a marble and glass exterior. From the 4th century BCE to the 6th century AD, the collection features works of ancient Greek, Cycladic, and Cypriot art. The exhibition includes numerous antiquities from the 6th century BC. The magnificent Stathetus Mansion, built in the 19th century, serves as a temporary exhibition space connected to the main structure via a tunnel from the atrium. The Temple of Olympian Zeus, Olympion, the Olympion, or Temple of Olympian Zeus, was the largest and most important ancient Greek temple. The Temple of Olympian Zeus was an even more magnificent construction in its day, despite the Parthenon's greater preservation. Both the Panathenaic and Olympic Stadiums The Panathenaic Stadium in ancient Athens is the largest structure there and could hold as many as 60,000 people. 
The stadium was built in 335 BC during the reign of Herodes Atticus, and it was there that the first Panathenaic Games were held. The 204-meter-long track featured four double herms for competitors to make their required turns. New marble bleachers were added to the stadium by Herodes Atticus in about AD 140. The current stadium was constructed as a replica of the old stadium for the 1896 Olympic Games. The contemporary Olympic Stadium replicates the ancient Panathenaic Stadium down to the last detail, with its 47 layers of seating and rounded southeast corner. The Museum of Byzantine Art The eastern part of the Roman Empire became the Byzantine Empire after Rome's demise. The modern-day regions of the Balkans, Greece, and Asia Minor were all under Byzantine administration from the 3rd through the 15th centuries. During this time, artworks with religious themes were highly prized. Artists in Byzantium produced dazzling works of art, such as intricate mosaics and gilded icons. The Byzantine Museum is a treasure trove of more than 25,000 objects from the early Christian, medieval, and post-Byzantine eras, many of which are religious in nature. Artworks in the collection range from sculptures to paintings to mosaics to textiles to icons. The replica of a fountain, shown at the Monastery of Daphne and architectural remnants from early Christian basilicas and Byzantine churches are among the highlights. The museum's patio showcases a beautiful mosaic tile that dates back to the 5th century. Look for bargains in Monasteraki and the flea market. The Athens flea market, located in the neighborhood of Monasteraki, is a maze of winding alleyways crammed with stalls offering everything from jewelry and trinkets to clothing and household products. This is a major lure for the region, but the neighborhood as a whole has a special character that makes it enjoyable to stroll around or sit at one of the many outdoor patios. There is a wide variety of dining options in Monasteraki. If you're in the mood for a gyro or some other typical Greek fare throughout the day, this is the place to be. It's a tad more laid back here than in the neighboring Plaka neighborhood. The structures surrounding Monasteraki Square are both old and new. Get your bearings from here. The flea market's entrance street is indicated by a sign on the square's perimeter. Attend the guard ceremony in Syntagma Square. The changing of the guard in Syntagma Square is a thrilling and unforgettable event. At all times, day or night throughout the year, soldiers from the Presidential Guard can be seen on Syntagma Square in front of the Hellenic Parliament. Traditional garb, including pleated skirts, leg tassels, and pom-pom shoes, is worn by the guards. Every day at 11 a.m., a ceremony called the Changing of the Guards is held in front of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The brave, nameless soldiers whose sacrifice is commemorated here. The tombstone's marble relief is modeled after ancient warrior tombstones. Take in the scenery from Lycabettus Hill. It's natural to be curious about the distant hill while you're standing on the Acropolis and looking out across Athens. That would be Lycabettus Hill, and you should definitely check it out. One of the nicest panoramas of Athens may be had from the peak of Lycabettus Hill. It is the highest point in the city, at 227 meters, and offers a spectacular panorama of the Acropolis below. Thank you for joining us on our travels around the world with Tripedia. We hope that our videos have given you a glimpse into the incredible diversity and beauty of our planet. We believe that travel is not just about ticking off destinations on a bucket list, but about immersing yourself in new cultures, meeting new people, and creating unforgettable memories. As you continue your own journey, we encourage you to explore with an open heart and an open mind. Whether you're traveling solo with friends or with family, every trip is a chance to learn, grow, and connect with the world around you. Thank you for being a part of the Tripedia community, and we look forward to continuing to share our adventures with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel inspiration and tips. Until next time, safe travels.